Oh, it's, you're dead, man. I'm you're dead. dead. It's over. Get oh. down. That's right. This is airsoft. You don't deserve this patch anymore. Oh, VC got me, dude. Airsoft too real. This is too real. It's like real war, man. Just like real war. War as hell, man. Don't go to war, guys. Play airsoft <laughs> instead, dude. Hello, everyone. My name is Doug. Say your name, dude. Oh, I'm Alan. Alan's filming this time around. So, this is the SEMA Arms M16A1. And, just a disclaimer, uh, I'm also a mentally sound young man in his, in his prime. We just love BB Wars. We love history. We love uh, just going around shooting people, running out in nature. Just a disclaimer. So, I love history. I love the Vietnam War. And I'm also really new to Airsoft. And... One thing I didn't like when I started playing was the abundance of modern M4s and AKs. Never liked the whole key mod tactical piss shit part like, oh dude, I'm spamming my trigger at you. I've always enjoyed more antique firearms. So here we have the M16A1, developed uh, during the Vietnam War to replace the M14. This is a classic American rifle. And I chose this because after mentioning my fascination with Vietnam, but also because it's a really good beginner gun. It's very light. As uh, you've seen in some of our other videos, we have some very heavy guns. We have a G3 and an M249 that we use on the field really often. Both of them come in around 13 pounds average. And I was using the M249 before I got this. And that one was a fun LMG, but this is extremely light. This is only like, God, it doesn't even feel like five pounds. And the externals on it are really sick. It has a nice full metal body receiver. The shroud, the shroud is pretty sexy. I'm gonna give it that. The shroud is, it's all plastic, but it feels nice. I've, we've been running and gunning this past month or so, and we've been through some pretty of the more outdoor fields here in the Golden State, and it stayed pretty clean as well, and the shroud has not come off. There hasn't been any really bad external damage. And overall, it's just a really fun gun. If you're into historical firearms, I would really recommend this gun. Not only that, if you're a beginner and you don't want to uh, shell out really big money for an M4 or an AK, this was only around $270 and it came with a really nice, the BB's flying out there, it came with a really nice high cap stainless steel. Is this stainless steel? I don't know. We'll call it. Some, some kind of metal. It's, it's, pro it's, it's, nice it's, metal. it's probably aluminum. Aluminum, but... let's be honest. But <laughs> it's, it's Chinese, so it's probably aluminum. This is a really nice mag. It's been serving me very well, and I've been loaned some mags well from my friends. But for $270 out of the box, this all. <laughs> Shit, sorry, B got on me. <laughs> <laughs> this shot, this is shoot. We played, I think, I played two full days of this, probably around eight or ten matches. This thing has shot really straight, right out of the box. So if you're worried, if you're a beginner, if you're young, or you're just getting a new historical firearm, this thing shoots straight right out of the box. I know nothing about internals. Alan does. But so far, this thing has shot very nicely. It's served me very well, very nice and light. You can rush with this, even though it's a bit long. It's almost the size of the G3. It's a full-length assault rifle. You can rush with this since it's so light, and if you're playing your cards right, you can, you know, pop out a cover like this. You can scan the area. Really nice stuff. I've really enjoyed it, switching from an LMG to a, uh, an assault rifle platform. Long story short, if you're a beginner and you want a historical firearm and not just some modern M4 or AK platform, see my arms M16A1. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, what, what was it, the standard version? It's the Not... standard version. Yeah, yeah, so it's, that, that comes in at, well, how much was it? 270. 270. 300 with tax. Um, also the carrying handle, not flimsy at all. All metal, very nice to run with, very fun. Let's all right. Let's get to shooting. Alrighty, now let's go over, putting in the battery. Very simple, I'm not sure just how you hold a gun, but it doesn't matter. Pull this out, there are cables on the inside. We had to get a Deems to Tamiya for this thing. Whatever it's called, the converter, I don't know. Whatever. We go ahead, plug the battery in. Doesn't explode, we're good to go. Go ahead and feed that in there. Come on, there we go. Okay, very nice. 
Wow, one issue with the gun. You hear that? The battery is not stable on there. It will, it will jostle around when you're running around. You have to put foam or something in there. If you watch any other reviews for this thing, they mention that too. Still, it hasn't given me any trouble when I'm out shooting. Battery has stayed stable. I've been able to, you know, uh, keep up sustained fire while running around. Oh, and what, what's going on there? Here's the hop up. We have not touched this thing at all. It's actually very difficult to to move up and down. But here's what I don't I don't know what the fuck this is called. But this pops out open. Dust cover. The dust cover. Very nice. You can load it. Load this in, and, and then if you get this over here. You can press the bolt forward to close the bolt and it closes this up. And then when you play, you should probably close the dust cover. There's no reason to keep this open. And we can begin shooting. So I'm gonna uh, flip it off safe. I can't see, my thing has been completely fogged up. That's on automatic. Why is that on automatic? There we go. I'm not a very good shot. Am I shooting it? Am I hitting it? Now. Going a little high. You have to, you have to wind it again. Oh, dude, my, my mask is completely fogged up. That's <laughs> what you get for anonymity on the internet, friends. Can't hit shit. There ah. we go. We got one. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Trust me, okay, I've shot it. It's very accurate. Ah. There we go. You knocked that one down. More. Oh. Am I out of ammo? Shake the mag. Nope, I got yeah. a lot. Another thing, you can't really hear the BBs jostling around, so you're going to have to check when you, when you shoot this thing. You gotta wind it more, man. I know. This is a good time to say, if you're not, if you're spraying and praying with this thing, you're gonna need more mags. But last time I played, we went out, uh, this high cap mag served me pretty well, just for for meeting medium amounts of shooting. There's two, there's two stop up left, right? Yeah. Yep, two of them, left and right. Going, well, I say we call it here. <laughs> okay, this is really he, he, he got he got one target. I but got one target. Yeah, when your when your when your goggles are not fogged up, that is it is a pretty accurate uh, gun. I've, I I w when we were on the field, uh, this was shooting straight. Um, as you can tell, I'm not very good at shooting quite yet. So uh, this means we're this means we're honest reviewers. We're not cutting any footage here. So <laughs> nothing is doctored here. Overall, I would say this is a great beginner gun and the price for the quality is, is very much worth it. Especially if you love historical firearms. Um, do they, don't, didn't they also make the, the carbine? I don't know if they made the carbine, but... SEMA makes a whole bunch of they stuff. They make a whole bunch of stuff. So, if you love Vietnam, you love the M16, and you want a great beginner gun, go for this. All right. See you guys later.